All right, so we've got our two, uh, our system of two equations. Equation one came from conservation of x momentum, and equation two came from conservation of y momentum. And we've gotten the VB primed and the VB pr uh, VA primed uh, on opposite sides of the equal sign for equation two so far. And the, the voting class was to get VA primed all by itself. So we could say that VA primed based on that line is going to be equal to uh, 0 0.801, sorry, 0 0.01 VB primed over 0.996. What's the coefficient that should go on that VB prime then? 804. 0 0.804. VB primed. And I could say sub into equation one. Now we don't have any answers yet, but we're about to get some answers, okay? So going back into equation one, we could say 3.64 equals 1.187 V, oh, instead of saying VA primed, I'm sorry, I, I almost uh, messed that up, times 0 0.804 times VB primed plus 1.327 VB primed. Okay? So then we can simplify the right-hand side. So you're going to have to do 1.187 times 0 0.804. What's 1.187 times 0 0.804? 9, 0 0.95465. 0 0.956, sorry? 9546065. 9546065. VB primed plus 1.327. VB primed, and if you still have this coefficient in your calculator, can you please add it to 1.327? Yeah? Why did we drop the x and y subscripts? Oh, we dropped the x and y subscripts um, back previously by inserting, instead of VA, y, sorry? Like, is that when we use the trig ratios? Yeah, when we use the trig ratios. We inserted, instead of saying VA, y primed, we were able to say VA primed times sine theta. And it just meant that we had, we, uh, made it look like there was less variables to solve for, because there really were. There were some hidden variables in there. I used the original value, not the value. So what do we get for this coefficient then on VB primed? 0 0.9546. 0 0.9546. That actually ends up being the, the coefficient on VB? Oh, no, I didn't add them together. Oh, okay. 2.0? Two three seven. Thank you. Two three seven. VB primed is equal to three point six four. And if I divide both sides by two point zero, two three seven. Two point two eight. That's if you use. Yeah. Two point two eight. Sorry, VB. Ah. Two. That's already solved. Oh my goodness. Too many cooks. Two point two eight VB primed. Is that yeah? Yeah. Okay. Then we divide both sides by 2.28, and we get VB prime to be what then? 3.64 divided by 2.28. Anyone want to second it? 1.595? Okay. 1.595 meters per second. Now the downside to doing all this numerical substitution is that we really have a hard time keeping track of all the units. I haven't been writing all the units as, as we've gone through here. Well, yeah, but still at the same time, we've really dropped out a lot of communication because the, the, the equations get to be enormous, just absolutely enormous. Now this, this is the one problem solving approach in this whole course where I won't absolutely demand that you write your units. What thermal energy one? Thermal energy, I, I, uh, I, don't I, de really I demand that for grade 12, yeah. Sorry, I'm so confused. After you stop, Sorry? Oh, wait, never mind. Never mind. Okay. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to call this one here that I used to sub into equation uh, two, uh, one, rather. I'm going to call it equation two primed. And so now I want to say, now that I know VB primed, I want to equate it, uh, sorry, I want to sub it back into equation two primed so that I can say, so that I can say that VA primed is equal to 0 0.804 VB primed 
or 0 0.804 times 1.595. What do you get? 1.28. 1 1.28? 1 yeah. Nothing after the 8? 2. Okay. One, what? 1.282? Yeah. Yes. Okay, 282 meters per second. Now that was a, a lot of fiddling around, and I, I think it's really not much more than grade 10 and 11 math, but let's go back and make sure we actually answered the question, because that's always a nice thing to know at the end of the day. Can you start the correction? Yeah, I think so. Wait, wait, I'll, I'll bring it back, don't worry. Um, no, but wait, um, that is, I, I can sort of like not see because of all the crossing and stuff you did, but uh, after you subbed it in, it says that 3.64 equals 0 0.9... 0 0.95460 uh, I'll write it out. 0 0.95460 Although it's messy, that's what this says. Okay? All right, so let's go back and make sure that we've answered the question that we set out to answer. The question that we set out to answer was to find the velocities of the two pool balls. We've got the speeds. What do we need now? I think just direction. So we can come back here. And the direction for ball A was 40 degrees relative to the west. And ball B was 31.1 degrees south of west. So we could say... Velocity A is 1 point, oh, how many sig figs did we start off with here? Let's say we started off with two sig figs then. 1.3 meters per second west, 40 degrees north, or north, north or sorry, 40 degrees north of west, that's another way to say it, or, and VB, sorry, is about 1.6 meters per second, I should say approximately equal to approximately equal to 1.6 meters per second west 31.1 degrees south. You're not going to demand a certain way to write direction, right? No, no. You can write direction in either of the two meaningful ways that we've, uh, we've tried to develop. Okay. Daniel?